I'm going to be showing you how to edit your photos in Photoshop with the incorrect white balance setting and how we can adjust that photo to make it look correct in the colors and in the white balance. So I'm opening up one of my photos that has more of a bluish tint to that image. So I'll select that and open it. Now, before I start editing, I just want some reference colors to see what the colors are in there. So over here on the left hand side, um, next to this little eyedropper, if you go down to the color sampler tool, you can select your darkest color in your image, which right there is about mine. And over here on the right hand side, it gives me my color combo of the red, greens, and blues colors inside of that color to just see where the numbers are at. This probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you right now. It will once we start editing our colors. So there's my dark, there's a light, and then here's a middle color as well. So it's numbered one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Just to compare, which my third one, my red is pretty high, not as red as it is over here in my number two. But that just gives me a good gauge on where my colors are at. So next thing I'm going to do is select my entire photo. So I'm going to go Command A as an apple, and you can see it's selecting all the way around it. And then Command C as in copy, and Command V as in valentine to paste. And you can see over here, it's created a, a same duplicate layer as down below one this is going to be a good sense of what i have done compared to the original without ad adjusting the original and two and in case i make any mistakes and i want to go back i can adjust without restarting a new photograph okay so let's start adjusting our levels of our color in our photograph so to do that I'm going to go up to layer, drop down to new adjustment layer, and then go over to levels and press OK. And over here, it's opened up a new window and right underneath it says preset default and then there's RGB. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Those are our colors that we work with in Photoshop. So we are going to manually adjust all of these colors and realize as well every person sees color differently depending on their eyes, their brain. Um, some are colorblind, but you as the artist are going to decide where is your happy medium with adjusting our colors for what they should be in reality. So the first one, my red, I have on my number two a pretty high value for it, 250. So generally you want to stay around the same area, but I can keep going. Now if I keep going to the right, you can see the whole tint of the photograph becomes far more red. Now I want to make this seam more red in it, so I'm going to push it past that 250, more like a 230-ish. And it doesn't look like I'm doing a whole lot right here compared to over here on the left, but if I come back over into my layers section and I hit the eyeball for what I've just adjusted, which I don't like that. Down below, I can see my original, and it's far more bluish greenish than what I'm working with. Now I can compare, it's almost too red. So I'm gonna bring it back over and take a look. Okay, I like that. That's way better. And I'm gonna drop down and do my green next. 
which in my darkest color, there's 33. So I might bump this up into... There's 33, might bring this down a little bit. I like that, 33. Okay, let's try our blues next, which are blue, 71. Let's just see what it would look like if I go to 71 right here. Ooh, that looks far better. I like that. Notice I'm matching my eyedropper with my lowest value, my darkest area, and that becomes far more black. Let's compare. Oh, yeah, that looks far more black. And then my blue, 253, it looks like, is my highest number. I'm just comparing it to these areas to make it a lot easier. And let's compare to our original. Oh man, huge difference in actual colors now. So I like what I've done. I'm going to save this and I'm going to be plugging this onto a Google slideshow and comparing my before and then my after of editing. And you will do the same. You're gonna file we will save as and jpeg and i'm gonna label this truck edit number two because it's my second time doing it save and plug it onto my google slideshow you're going to be doing this for three photos with incorrect coloring have fun